The first of the three steps to more science with OpenACC is to analyze your application and understand where it is spending its time. What are the important functions, loops, and data structures? Are you using any math libraries that may have already been accelerated for you? All of this information will help you to focus your efforts to get the best results. The PGI Community Edition comes with several GPU accelerated math libraries, so these are a great place to start. If you're performing a lot of dense or sparse linear algebra, then perhaps you should be using Kublas or QSparse. If FFTs are important to you, then QFFT is already included. During this step, you should look at the libraries you're currently using and see if they've already been accelerated for you. The PGI Community Edition comes with accelerated libraries for dense and sparse linear algebra, FFTs, and random number generation, but will also work with other accelerated libraries. Community Edition also includes a tool, PGProf, to help you obtain an application profile to understand where the application is spending its runtime. First, I'll build my application using the PGI compiler, as you see here. Next, let's start the profiler by running the command PGProf from our Linux terminal. I now want to start a new session by choosing File, then New Session. I then need to tell PGProf which application to run by choosing Browse, and then browsing to my executable. If the program requires any additional command line arguments, you can type them here. Then I'll hit Next, confirm that profile execution on the CPU is checked, then press Finish. PGProf will now run my application to gather some performance data. Once the run completes, I want to view the CPU profile by clicking on the CPU Details tab. If for some reason this tab does not appear, go to the View and Show CPU Details View option. I see here that by accelerating the three most time-consuming routines, I'll accelerate nearly 98% of the application. By double-clicking on a function and telling PGProf where to find my source files, I can even dive down to learn more about individual routines to better understand what they are doing and what optimizations the compiler is already performing. Hovering over this icon on the left, I get a bubble showing me how the compiler optimized this loop. All of this information will better prepare us for the next of our three steps, Parallelize.